Hey everybody, I'm coming making this video message and I want to tell you, yes, that's the thing. What thing am I talking about? I'm talking about the thing that you keep avoiding, the thing you keep ignoring, the thing that you keep overlooking that God keeps placing on your heart to do. What is it? This is only something that you who is viewing this message would be able to answer. A lot of you all, you ask questions. You ask me questions. You may ask yourself questions or other people. You will say, how do I get closer to God? I don't know what God wants me to do. What am I supposed to be doing? What direction am I supposed to be going in? I'm going to tell you the very thing that keeps coming to you, that you keep thinking about, the very thing that you keep putting off, the very thing you keep tiptoeing around, the very thing that you keep pushing to the back of your mind, acting like it's not important, acting like it doesn't matter. That is the thing that God wants you to address. Is the thing that God is placing on you having to do with family? Maybe God is moving you to call a family member that you fell out with. Or he's calling you and pushing you to make amends with family members that you have not spoken to in many years. If you have been feeling like you need to call a certain family member or you need to talk to a certain family member, then that's the thing that God wants you to tend to. Is the thing a change that you need to make within yourself? What is the change? Is it your way of thinking? Is it your attitude? Is it how you treat people? Because there are a lot of you, you are not really treating people in your life the way that you should. You may not know how to talk to people. You may talk to people any kind of way. You may not be real um, supportive of people in your life that really need you. These are some of the things that will start to come to your spirit. But a lot of people feel like when it comes to God and kingdom business and kingdom work, that it has to be on this, on this large platform and on this huge stage with flashing lights and they always feel like uh, what God wants them to do is money involved. Sometimes the very thing that God wants you to do, he simply wants you to reconcile to someone that you offended. He wants you to swallow your pride, put it to the side, and call that friend or that family member. What is, I'm asking again, what is the thing that continues to be coughed up in your spirit? What is the thing that repeatedly keeps coming to your mind? I'm telling you now, this is how God is speaking to some of you. But what do you do? You push it to the side. You avoid it. You tell yourself, nah, that's not what that is. I'm tripping. I'll do that tomorrow. I'll do that next week. I will do that next month well i'm gonna wait for him to call me i'm gonna wait for them to call me well god didn't directly tell me to reach out to this person and god is not telling me to check this but you know when you are out of order you all know when you are out of order this goes for all of us i'm even including myself in this we know when we sit in our alone time and we are by ourselves and no one is around us, we know where we have to improve at. We know what area is out of order. We know the ugly, disgusting, filthy parts of us that only God knows. Whatever it is that is coming up or whatever it is that you know to be true about yourself, because when you are by yourself, Everything you do when you're by yourself, that is literally who and what you are. That is literally what and who you are. When you are by yourself, 
or on a day-to-day -day basis how you're interacting with different people that is who you are so if you're the type of person who there are people who need your help they want your help and you have the resources but you are refusing to help them because of whatever your reasons are could it be that you are just a very selfish person if you're the type of person that feel like the world revolves around you and it's all about you it's never about you caring about the well-being of other people or you reaching out to even check to see if somebody needs anything it's always everybody has to cater to you everybody has to give in to you and your wants and your desires and your needs that is who you are so if that keeps coming to you if you keep thinking about well where do i stand with god I, I don't really know where, where I stand with God. I don't know if God is upset with me. I don't know if I'm close to God. I don't know if God hears my prayers. That is the thing that now you need to start addressing and focusing on. If it's repeatedly coming up and you have to repeatedly ask yourself that question or you have to repeatedly go to other people and you're telling them to give you a word, you don't need a word, sweetheart. You don't need a word, sir. The answer is within you. It's that thing that keeps repeatedly coming up. It's the thing that wakes you up at night. What is waking you up at night? You can be sound asleep sound asleep sleeping well sleeping in a deep sleep and your sleep is broken and you are wide awake and it happens um almost every night and when you wake up you're laying there and you're thinking about a particular thing that is the thing that you need to tend to that is the thing that you need to address sometimes it's various things is various things and this video message kind of ties in with the other video message that I released about weaning yourself off some things because when you put your focus on something else and it's a strong source of your dependence you will more than likely be neglecting several other areas and so if something keeps coming in your spirit and you are uh, ignoring it, you're avoiding it, you feel like it's not critical or important enough, that is the thing now you need to address. That's the thing you need to address. That's the thing you need to deal with. That's the thing that you've got to put more attention into. You've got to pay it more attention. That is what this video message is about. A lot of people um, on their walk with Christ, sometimes we feel like our only way to get answers and clarity is when a prophet shows up. Man, I need a prophetic word. Is the prophet coming into the church today? Oh, you know what? I, I, I need to go and I need to see what this man or woman of God is talking about. You know, um, it's going to help me in my situation. And that's all fine and good, but that cannot always be your go-to. Sometimes God is speaking to you every single day, but you miss it. And you miss it because of what? Because you keep dismissing it. Don't dismiss what keeps coming to you. Don't dismiss that. Sometimes with some of you, that is actually how God is talking to you. God is not going to talk to you through a prophetess or a prophet. And if he does, he's not going to use that method every time. Sometimes God is not going to talk to you through the man of God that's preaching. Whether it's in person at your church that you attend, or whether it's you went on social media and you are watching a pastor weekly. And you're waiting for that man of God to upload his content. No, 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 no. God is not always going to talk to you like that. Sometimes God is actually talking to you because he is the one who is disrupting your sleep everybody always wants to put the devil's name on it everybody always wants to say oh it's witchcraft it's an attack 
I told you all before, you all are going to learn to stop giving witches and demons and the devil all of this credit and all of this power and legal rights to turn your life, your mind, your finances, your health, your marriage, your children, your work situation upside down. You all got to stop with this. Sometimes your sleep is broken because God wants you to fellowship with him. God wants you to pray. God wants you to talk to him. He is putting in your spirit strongly. What is the thing that you feel strongly? Even if you feel led to do something, you may feel led to get up and put your clothes on. This ain't for everybody, but it could be some of you all strongly. You keep feeling like I need to go out and I need to feed the homeless. Even if I don't have anything but $100 worth of food, I need to start somewhere and get some little bags and pack three or four snacks in it. And I need to drive around locally in my neighborhood and I need to pass these bag lunches out. God may be leading you to rededicate yourself to a ministry. God may be waking you up because he's putting in you. It's time for you to start writing your book. It's time for you to write that song. Those words that I'm putting in your spirit, you need to get a pen and a pad and write it down. It's time for you to start making plans on how you're going to start that business. I gave you the idea. You've got the heart to do it, but you are not working on anything. What is the thing that is breaking your sleep? What is the thing that is waking you up at night? What is the thing that all day, no matter what is going on, it keeps coming to the front? of your mind when you're eating you're thinking about it when you are trying to sleep you're thinking about it your sleep is broken you're thinking about it you're taking a shower you're thinking about it you're driving to work you're thinking about it you're going to pick up your children you're thinking about it you with your husband or your wife you're thinking about it that is the thing that God wants you to tend to. That is the thing he wants you to pay attention to. That is the thing that he wants you to address. If there are two or three things that repeatedly keep coming to you, don't keep avoiding it. Don't keep ignoring it. Don't keep being in denial about it. Don't keep dismissing it. Address it. Address it. That is the video message. Yes. That's the thing. That's it. And the thing is, what keeps coming to you? You will know when it's coming from God. Because there are some things that comes to you and you know it's not of God. You know it's sent straight from the pits of hell. Every thought, every emotion, every idea is not always from God. But you all are not dumb. You are intelligent. You know when something is coming to your spirit and you know when it's pure and you know when it's coming from the Holy Spirit. That thing <laughs> that makes you uncomfortable because you are not addressing it, that is the thing that God wants you to address. The thing that breaks you down emotionally that keeps coming to you that's the thing that God wants you to address. The thing that makes you scared. Sometimes you all will function and it becomes toxic because certain things or a thing will come to you and come to your spirit and be heavy on your heart. But out of fear, you don't even want to hear the truth. You don't want to face the truth about a particular thing. And so you avoid it. That's the thing that God wants you to tend to that's the thing that God wants you to address yeah it's that thing yes that's it that thing only you know this video will not resonate with everybody but some of you you will catch it you will catch it and you will understand it and you will know exactly what it is well guys it's time for me to go because i have some other things to do 
the Lord willing, I will be back with another video message. If any one of you have taken offense to anything I spoke about in this video message, it's okay. It's all right. I'm not worried about it. I am not concerned because I know you will forgive me in the morning.